Tonight, we are remembering the life of one of the most generous men in all of Metro Detroit. Art Van Elslander, the founder of Art Van Furniture, died at the age of 87 after a year-long battle with cancer. But his impact on the community will certainly not be forgotten. He opened his first furniture store in 1959 at Gratiot and Ten Mile Road. The company now operates 181 stores throughout the Midwest. And he's a man known for saving America's Thanksgiving parade and He's donated tens of millions of dollars to Michigan charities. Seven Action News reporter Kim Russo has a closer look at the countless lives Art Van Elslander has helped. As we remember the life of Art G. A. Van Elslander, many people first think of his furniture empire, Art Van Furniture. But many others also think of the charitable work he did for our city and our community. For example, saving the Detroit Thanksgiving Day Parade. The pictures tell the story of a man whose life embodied the American dream. In 1930 in Detroit, Archie A. Van Elslander was born. This is a picture of him and his dad, a Belgian immigrant. He served in the army, came home, worked in a furniture store, and saved up a few hundred dollars. Then he opened his own store in 1959. It was Art Van Furniture. He was a dreamer and a big dreamer at that. And for all of us that know his story, he started from incredibly humble beginnings. He had 100 locations and 4,000 employees when he sold the business last year. He used his success to help others, making headlines donating to charity after charity. Just one example, in 1990, the Detroit Thanksgiving Day Parade was about to be canceled due to funding problems. He stepped in, donating $225,000 saving the parade. I think it's important for everybody to know that this was really about his heart and soul and loving, loving what this parade did. When he got sick, he kept his illness private, but those who know him say he had lung cancer. He didn't give up fighting the horrible disease until the end. Those who worked with Mr. Van Elslander knew he believed in making that which seemed impossible, possible. He always wanted the biggest float, the highest float, and we always delivered. He was always about living life large. When we celebrated our 50th anniversary in this building with Cindy Crawford and countless other celebrities, it was all about that 50 years. Don't wait, get it done. We never know what tomorrow will bring us. Kim Russell, 7 Action News. And be sure to stay with 7 Action News and WXYZ.com as we remember the life of Art Van Elslander. You can share your condolences with his family right now on our Channel 7 Facebook page. Yeah,